I think maybe the conversation can really start from there to mm. say uh, you are first time in South Africa. Yes. Um, and, and, and what is your mission you know, okay. um, in South Africa? Well, our mission is, is a global mission. Okay. Uh, Israel United in Christ uh, is an organized, they call it an organization, but it's an actual an organized nation. We are gathering the diaspora of our people mm. from the continent of Africa, through the Caribbean, through the Americas, Canada, uh, Iran, Iraq, Europe, uh, our people who have been scattered, uh, based upon the biblical records, we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel, mm -hmm. okay? When Jerusalem was destroyed in the year 70 AD, uh, millions of our people fled into deeper in the uh, recesses of Africa. This mm -hmm. is how many of our people got down here towards South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we were mangled in, learning various languages and customs. We had been on the continent for thousands of years. Uh, from 70 AD up until um, 1441 when Pope Nicholas V um, sanctioned the papal bull uh, allowing the transatlantic slave trade to take place. That's when many of us were taken from North, West, East, and South Africa and sent away as slaves. Okay, Some of us were sent out, some of us remained behind. All of that is in the Bible. Mm. Okay. And I, I'd like to show you that, uh, if we can read that. So you know I'm not just talking off the top. Yeah, so don't read it. Yeah, Deuteronomy 28, Psalm 15, verse 15. I'm assault, you heard of Moses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Moses, yeah. Most people think the history of Moses and the Israelites took place in Europe. It did not, it took place in Africa mm. because they were just making their exodus from Egypt. Mm. So people read Egypt and then for some reason they go England yeah. and I'm like, you don't know Egypt is not in England? Egypt Yesterday was a young man here yeah. who said he thought uh, Egypt was in America. We had a good chuckle off that. So <laughs> this is how our people's minds are mixed up. Let's yeah. that. Um, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is what Moses said to the Israelites. If you break God's commandments, all these curses will come upon you. Mm -hmm. So now the question would be, curses like what? Let's read verse 32. Verse 32, thy son and thy daughters shall be given into another people, and thy eyes shall fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. So your sons and daughters would be given to another people. So we ask the question, were the sons and daughters that were here in South Africa given to the Dutch, given to the British? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The fruit of thy land and all thy labor shall a nation which thou know not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. So it says that same nation would eat up the fruit of your land. Mm -hmm. That goes to your gold, your diamonds, your resources in this land. Mm -hmm. And it said you would only be oppressed how long? And crush always. Always. So here in South Africa, you have diamonds, you have wealth beyond belief in the soil. Other nations take it. Mm. But you don't, our people that are here do not benefit from it. Mm. Okay? Um, so it's that we would be oppressed always. Mm. Many of our people today, like we were in downtown, where were we? Downtown uh, Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Yeah. Have, there was the called downtown. Yeah. downtown. Yes, Everyone's phot photographers, music, yeah. you know this area. Yeah. And they were screaming that they are free and they are not oppressed. And I'm like, but you're not benefiting mm. from the gold. That's, you're not benefiting from mm. anything here. Mm. You're just as oppressed as our people in America are. In America, this is what they do. The oppression is massive. And they find key figures. Like, let's say if you lived in America, mm. he's into music. He has a great influence. Let's pay him millions of dollars so that way he can shut the people up. Mm. Like LeBron James, Michael Jackson, Prince. Um, Wycliffe John, they get paid millions of dollars, they themselves, but they're not allowed to speak for the oppression of the people. Mm. That's the written contract. Mm. So we bring these things out and then uh, society, oh no, you're not supposed to say that, it's hate speech. This is what happened here. Mm. As we were teaching, the brothers and sisters were like, listen, and they were like, wait a minute, no, no, we are free people. And we're like, apartheid just ended, what, was it 30 years ago? Mm. 30 years ago. Yeah, 20, and, 30 years ago. Was it? Yeah. More, more or less. 25 years. Right. Yeah. And um, 
they allow the people, our people, to go in these areas now, and they have hired, they've hired, uh, I guess you would call them security. Mm -hmm. And the security's job is to make sure there's no type of any revolutionary talk or any kind, anything that uh, the Boers would think is rebellion talk. Mm -hmm. So, because when you read this, it not only identifies us as the Israelites, but I, it identifies the people that oppress us. Mm -hmm. And that's like a white guy jumped up, he was furious. No, that's hate speech. Read, watch this, read verse um, 48. Verse 48, therefore shall I serve thy enemies which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So it said, you should serve your enemies. Mm -hmm. It didn't say, for instance, serve your enemies in the want of all things. It said, for what? Uh, and, and nakedness? No, no, stop me. Oh, therefore that shall I serve thy enemy which the Lord shall send against thee. And hunger. That's food. And in thirst. That's water. And in nakedness. Clothing. And in water of all things. All things means education, jobs, work. Uh, even if you're going to be an entrepreneur, you want religion, you would have to go to your enemies for it. The same people who oppressed us, destroyed us as a race, as a people, we have to go to them because they control the food imports and exports. They control the water industry. They control the uh, clothing industry. They control the educational system. Like we were in um, Ghana some time ago. The, the whole school system is Brit British. You learn nothing about the great black men and black women. Not, you don't hear about that. You learn about British mm. culture. You learn about American culture. Same here in South Africa. Yes. Yeah. So we bring this out and we said, this is what God prophesied would happen to his people for breaking God's commandments. And some people say, hey, this is us. They understand. Some down there were like, no, no, they were furious. Mm. But the bottom part of that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed you. They had, we had yokes of iron on our necks, slave shackles. You know what a yoke of iron mm, is, mm, on our necks. It was from South Africa, throughout the Caribbean, throughout the Americas, Canada, worldwide, wherever we were scattered at. Verse 68, please. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again the with word, ships. The word Egypt is bondage, captivity. Mm -hmm. So read it again for us. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So who went into bondage with ships? Go ahead. By the way, where I was speaking unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man shall save us. So now when you examine any, if you have any inkling of history, you have to ask yourself, who was sold in slavery. Who went on slavery on ships? They took shiploads of the people from here, like Sarah Bartman is very famous, taken to Europe, mm -hmm. where she was raped over and over and she died of syphilis. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, we learned that in school in America. Okay, but there was more than just Sarah Bartman, it's more than just her. Mm -hmm. So the Bible said you would go into slavery on ships. That fit, it didn't fit the Chinese, that doesn't even fit the white man in Israel mm -hmm. who says he's the Jew. Mm -hmm. That fits us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're saying we are the people of the book. Now people say, well, if we're the people, one guy today, he started screaming, he said the Jews are not black, Jesus is white. So we ask, where in the Bible does it say Jesus is white? Mm -hmm. You hear silence. So then when we go to Revelation where it describes Jesus Christ, let's read the description. Why, why do you think uh, uh, the narrative of pushing Jesus as white has been ongoing for so many years? to keep us subjugated. Mm -hmm. So that anytime we see them, we see Jesus. When I see you, what do you think I see? Yeah. You're the devil, the, devil. the Bible. Yeah. yeah. But when I see them, I say, that's Jesus. Say, calm down, calm mm -hmm. down. This is how they were able to have plantations of 300 slaves. The men could be six foot six, all muscle, but they would, very few would rise up against the slave master, who would be five foot three and weigh 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus' people. Don't fight him. Mm -hmm. This is why. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now when we read the description of Jesus, Revelation 1 and 1. Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must cut short to come to pass. Mm -hmm. So the word revelation means revealing. So let's jump for time's sake. Verse 14. So we get to the point. Verse 14. He's head in his head. 
wear white like wool. So the hair on his head, the hair on his face was white like what? Like wool. Wool. Wool hair is Afro hair. Mm. It's not straight hair, it's Afro it's hair. It's Afro hair. Yeah. Right, go ahead. As right as snow. Fully white. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Jesus drank wine. His first miracle, he turned water into wine. Into wine. Go ahead. Verse 15. And his feet. And his feet. Unto like fine brass. Brass is brown. As if they burn in a furnace. If you burn brown brass, what color does it get? Black. It gets black. Mm -hmm. So you mean no Christian ever read that? Of all these theology schools, nobody read, only us mm -hmm. read that? They've read it, they've despised it, and said never teach the slaves this. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this means we have a king, and our king looks like us. Mm -hmm. And that means he's coming back for us. Mm -hmm. That's something that is not to be taught in the world. We're here to teach it, mm -hmm. to give our people hope. Mm -hmm. Because our people are, they are hopeless. We are begging for crumbs from a system who has been set up to destroy us, to keep us subjugated. To give us, we may think a million dollars is a lot of money, but imagine when we came out of Egypt and went into the land of Canaan, under King David and King Solomon, get to King Solomon for me, we ruled the world. All nations were subject under us. Christ promised to give us that same world dominion again. And this is what the nations don't want. They said, we can never let this people rise again. You the color of King Solomon? Yeah, color of King Solomon, please. Because he may not be convinced that all of Israelites are black. Sorry, I'm going to some more. <laughs> no, I'm fully convinced. I'm fully convinced. That I have a, a, a very keen interest in understanding the real African history mm -hmm. and, and, where we, and where we come from. Not just in South Africa, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, yes. globally as well, and how black Americans are mm -hmm. where they are. Yes. And, and obviously now you're getting to know that you actually come from Africa and mm. different parts of Africa. So I have, a, I have a very keen interest in that because I don't believe that we are the way that we are because black people chose it to be like this. It, right. it has to be different somewhere. Yes. You know, um, and this superiority complex, complex that comes from white people, mm -hmm. it stems from somewhere because if one is superior, then they should be the one who's inferior. Right. And clearly, we, we black people have been taught to be inferior, Correct. and yet we are the superior race. So, yeah. so I, I really do have a, a keen interest in understanding the history mm. um, of the black child right. and, 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 and talking about it, you know, more and more. Right. Yeah. And it's, it's interest, interesting you said that the superiority complex, right? In the same book of Deuteronomy, one of the curses that I didn't read in Deuteronomy 28, 43, exactly what you said, mm -hmm. Moses prophesied in Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God prophesied the strange nations would get above us very high. Mm. How high? That they would lend to us and we would not lend to them. I was watching uh, today uh, President, excuse me if I mispronounced his name, Ramaphosa. 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 See, yes. he said the P. The lady yes. yesterday <laughs> said, don't pronounce the P. She said it's an F. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. I can't, yeah. Anyway. See, Ramaphosa. Oh, you see? Ramaphosa. Yeah. Okay. He went um, to the Finance Summit. Yes, in the Paris. financial summit. Financial summit, yeah. And was asked, speaking with President Macron, mm. and said, you promised us $1 billion per year. He said, uh, you also promised us electricity throughout the continent of Africa. This is what the Bible is saying. They would be the head and we would be the tail. They would lend to us and we would not lend to them. Mm. Because what comes with $1 billion per year? It's neocolonialism. You have to pay it back. Mm. You, are in, you are a slave forever. You are in debt forever, which uh, Kwame Nkrumah warned us about. He said, this is a new form of colonialism where they give you money and you must pay it back. And you can never come out of that trap. And when Thomas Sankara, you remember him in, in the 80s, uh, uh, Burkina Faso. Yes, yes. Young man, he was like 35 when they murdered, assassinated him. He said, we don't want foreign aid mm. because it's a financial trap. Mm. They had him killed. They had mm. his f best friend paid him like $5,000 to kill him. Mm. Take him out. Mm. But this is what the Bible's talking about. Mm. 
Okay. Now, King Saul.